Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. In this special feature, we delve into the fascinating lives of 20 beautiful TV actresses of the 70s who, despite their stunning looks and charm, have aged poorly over the years. Join us as we explore their incredible careers, iconic roles, and the dramatic transformations they have undergone. This journey through time highlights the fleeting nature of beauty and the enduring legacy of these talented actresses. Number 20. Angeline Brown, known as Angie Dickinson, was born on September 30, 1931, in Culm, North Dakota. She became a television sensation in the 70s with her role as Sergeant Pepper Anderson in Policewoman. Her elegance and beauty made her an icon, and she had a significant impact on the entertainment industry, inspiring many future actresses. In her youth, Angie Dickinson was the epitome of glamour and grace, often compared to the likes of Marilyn Monroe and Grace Kelly. Her stunning looks and impeccable style were admired by fans worldwide. Today, Angie Dickinson has aged gracefully but undeniably shows the signs of time. Her once flawless skin now bears the wrinkles of age, and her vibrant energy has mellowed. Contributing factors include the natural aging process, a life under the public eye, and perhaps the toll of past lifestyle choices. Despite these changes, Angie Dickinson's contributions to television and popular culture remain invaluable. Her legacy as a pioneering female led in a primetime TV series and her influence on generations of viewers and actors are undeniable. Number 19. Linda Carter, born Linda Jean Cordova Carter on July 24, 1951, in Phoenix, Arizona, is best known for her iconic role as Wonder Woman in the 1970s television series. Her portrayal of the Amazonian superhero left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and pop culture. During the peak of her career, Carter was celebrated for her striking beauty, athletic physique, and commanding presence. Her image as Wonder Woman became a symbol of female empowerment and elegance, captivating audiences worldwide, however, time has taken its toll. Today, Carter's appearance reflects the natural aging process, with noticeable changes in her features. Factors such as age, lifestyle choices, and possibly cosmetic procedures have contributed to her transformation over the years. Despite these changes, Linda Carter's contributions to television and popular culture remain significant. Her role as Wonder Woman inspired countless women and set a high standard for future female superheroes on screen. Carter's legacy in the entertainment industry is undeniable, as she continues to be celebrated for her groundbreaking work and enduring influence. Number 18, Lindsay Wagner, born on June 22, 1949, in Los Angeles, California, is best known for her iconic role as Jamie Summers in the TV series, The Bionic Woman. Her performance earned her an Emmy Award and made her a household name in the 1970s. Wagner's influence in the industry was significant, as she became a symbol of strength and resilience for many young women. In her youth, Wagner was celebrated for her striking beauty and athletic physique. Her golden hair and captivating smile graced numerous magazine covers, and her on-screen presence was both powerful and enchanting. She embodied the ideal of the all-American beauty with her natural charm and grace. Today, at the age of 74, Wagner's appearance has naturally changed with time. She has aged with dignity, but the years have softened her once sharp features. The youthful glow has faded, replaced by the lines and wrinkles of a life well lived. Her once vibrant blonde hair has turned gray, reflecting the passage of time. Despite the physical changes, Lindsay Wagner's contributions to television and popular culture remain invaluable. Her legacy as the bionic woman continues to inspire, proving that true beauty and strength are timeless.
Number 17, Loretta Swit, born Loretta Jane Swit on November 4, 1937, in Passaic, New Jersey, is a distinguished American actress best known for her role as Major Margaret Hot Lips Houlihan on the hit TV series, MASH. Her portrayal of the strong, complex character won her two Emmy Awards and made her a beloved figure in television history. Swit's career extends beyond MASH, with numerous appearances in television shows and theater productions, showcasing her versatility and talent. In her youth, Loretta Swit was admired for her striking looks and charismatic presence. Her expressive eyes, radiant smile, and dynamic energy captivated audiences and made her a standout star. On Moss H, she brought a perfect blend of humor and seriousness, making her character unforgettable. As the years have passed, Swit has naturally aged, and her once youthful appearance now bears the signs of time, with wrinkles and a more delicate frame. Despite these changes, Loretta Swit's contributions to television and her iconic role in Moss H continue to be celebrated. Her legacy as an actress remains influential, inspiring both fans and aspiring actors. Do you agree that Loretta Swit was considered one of the most beautiful and elegant actresses of her time during her youth? If so, comment one below. Number 16, Lonnie K. Anderson was born on August 5, 1945, in St. Paul, Minnesota. She rose to fame in the late 70s as Jennifer Marlowe on the sitcom Wuckerp in Cincinnati. Her role as the smart and sexy receptionist made her a household name, and she became a symbol of beauty and wit in television. In her prime, Lonnie Anderson was celebrated for her striking looks, characterized by her platinum blonde hair, sparkling blue eyes, and curvaceous figure. She embodied the glamorous allure of the 70s, often gracing magazine covers and becoming a style icon. Today, Lonnie Anderson still retains much of her beauty, though time has naturally brought changes. The vivacious blonde bombshell of the 70s now shows the lines of age, and her style has evolved with the times. Factors such as aging, the pressures of Hollywood, and personal challenges have all played a part in her transformation. Despite the changes, Lonnie Anderson's impact on television and popular culture remains significant. She paved the way for future actresses with her blend of beauty and intelligence, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Number 15. Kate Jackson, born Lucy Kate Jackson on October 29, 1948, in Birmingham, Alabama, is an iconic actress who became a household name in the 1970s. She is best known for her role as Sabrina Duncan in the hit TV series, Charlie's Angels, which catapulted her to fame and cemented her place in television history. Jackson's talent and charisma made her a beloved figure in the industry. In her prime, Kate Jackson was renowned for her striking beauty and elegant demeanor. With her radiant smile, captivating eyes, and chic style, she epitomized the glamour of the era. Her performances were equally compelling, earning her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. Today, Kate Jackson's appearance has changed significantly, as she has faced the natural aging process. The once youthful glow has given way to the lines and wrinkles that come with age. However, her contributions to television and popular culture remain undiminished. Kate Jackson's legacy in the entertainment industry is a testament to her talent, dedication, and the indelible mark she left on audiences worldwide. Number 14. Karen Grassel born on February 25, 1942, in Berkeley, California, is best known for her role as Caroline Ingalls in the beloved TV series, Little House on the Prairie. Her performance as the matriarch of the Ingalls family won the hearts of many and solidified her place in 1970s television. Grassel's talent and warmth made her an icon of the era. In her youth, 
Grassel was admired for her classic beauty and gentle presence. Her expressive eyes and kind smile brought her characters to life, making her a beloved figure on screen. She embodied the ideal of maternal grace and strength. Today, at 82, Grassel's appearance has naturally aged. Her once smooth skin now features wrinkles, and her hair, formerly a rich brown, has turned silver. These changes reflect a life filled with experience and wisdom. Despite physical changes, Karen Grassel's contributions to television and popular culture remain significant. Her role as Caroline Ingalls continues to inspire and resonate, showcasing her lasting impact on the industry. Number 13, Linda Lavin, born October 15, 1937, in Portland, Maine, is a celebrated American actress and singer, best known for her role as Alice Hyatt in the popular TV series, Alice, which aired from 1976 to 1985. Lavin's portrayal of the hard-working waitress and single mother won her two Golden Globe Awards and an Emmy nomination, establishing her as a significant figure in television history. Her talent extended beyond television, as she also made notable appearances on Broadway and in films. In her prime, Linda Lavin was admired for her natural beauty and vibrant energy. With her expressive eyes and warm smile, she became a familiar and beloved face to television audiences. Her performances were marked by a combination of humor and heart, making her characters relatable and endearing. As time has passed, Lavin has gracefully aged, but like everyone, she has experienced the physical changes that come with aging. Her once youthful face now shows the lines of time, and her frame has become more delicate. Despite these changes, Linda Lavin's contributions to television and theater remain invaluable, and her legacy as a talented actress continues to inspire and entertain new generations. Number 12. Catherine Bach, born Catherine Bachman on March 1, 1954, in Cleveland, Ohio, became an iconic television figure with her role as Daisy Duke in The Dukes of Hazard. Her portrayal of the spirited, sexy cousin in the popular show made her a household name and a sex symbol of the late 70s and early 80s. In her prime, Catherine Bach was admired for her natural beauty and charm, characterized by her long, brunette hair, bright smile, and famously toned legs. She became a fashion icon, with her signature, Daisy Dukes, shorts setting trends and becoming a cultural reference. Today, Catherine Bach has embraced aging gracefully, though the passage of time is evident. The fresh-faced beauty of her youth now shows lines of experience, and her once lithe physique has softened. Despite these changes, Catherine Bach's contribution to television and pop culture is enduring. She remains beloved by fans and respected in the industry, her role in The Dukes of Hazard, continuing to be celebrated as a quintessential part of American TV history. Number 11, Penny Marshall, born Carol Penny Marshall on October 15, 1943, in the Bronx, New York, was a celebrated actress, director, and producer. She gained fame in the 1970s for her role as Laverne DeFazio on the popular TV show, Laverne and Shirley, which showcased her comedic talent and made her a beloved figure in American television. Marshall's impact on the entertainment industry extended beyond acting as she became a successful director, known for hits like Big and A League of Their Own. In her prime, Penny Marshall was admired for her distinctive look, with her trademark L monogrammed sweaters and an infectious smile that charmed audiences. Her unique style and vibrant personality made her an icon of her era. As she aged, Penny Marshall's appearance changed, showing the natural signs of aging. She faced health challenges that impacted her looks, but her spirit and legacy in Hollywood remained strong. Marshall's contributions to television and film, along with her pioneering work as a female director, continue to be celebrated. 
Her enduring influence on pop culture and her trailblazing career have left an indelible mark on the industry. Number 10, Aaron Gray, born on January 7, 1950, in Honolulu, Hawaii, is widely recognized for her roles in the TV series Buck Rogers in the 25th Century and Silver Spoons. Gray's portrayal of Colonel Wilma Deering in Buck Rogers made her a science fiction icon in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Her performance in Silver Spoons further solidified her place in television history, in her youth, Gray was celebrated for her striking beauty and statuesque figure. With her elegant features and confident demeanor, she became a beloved figure on screen. Her portrayal of strong, capable women set her apart in an industry dominated by traditional female roles. Today, at 74, Gray's appearance has changed with age. Her once smooth skin now shows wrinkles, and her dark hair has turned gray. These changes highlight a life filled with rich experiences and wisdom. Despite these physical changes, Erin Gray's contributions to television and popular culture remain significant. Her roles continue to inspire, demonstrating her lasting impact on the entertainment industry. The following beauty icons have captivated countless hearts with their stunning performances. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like to motivate me to create even more engaging videos. Thank you. Number 9. Shirley Jones, born Shirley Mae Jones on March 31, 1934, in Charleroi, Pennsylvania, is a renowned actress and singer, best known for her roles in musical films and television. She gained fame for her performance as Lori Williams in Oklahoma and Marion Peru in The Music Man. Her most iconic role, however, was as Shirley Partridge in the popular television series The Partridge Family. Jones' talent and charm made her a beloved figure in Hollywood and an influential presence in the entertainment industry. In her youth, Shirley Jones was celebrated for her wholesome beauty and enchanting voice. With her radiant smile, bright eyes, and graceful demeanor, she captivated audiences both on screen and stage. Her performances in musicals showcased her stunning vocal abilities, making her a standout star of her era. As time has passed, Shirley Jones has naturally aged. Her once youthful appearance now shows the hallmarks of aging, with wrinkles and a more delicate frame. Despite these changes, her contributions to film and television remain significant, and her legacy as a versatile actress and talented singer continues to be honored and remembered by fans and colleagues alike. Number 8. Adrian Barbeau, born on June 11, 1945, in Sacramento, California, rose to fame in the 70s as Carol Trainer in the hit TV sitcom, Maude. Her role as the outspoken and independent daughter of Maude Findlay showcased her acting talent and made her a household name. Barbeau further cemented her status as a star with her roles in horror and sci-fi films like The Fog and Escape from New York. In her youth, Adrienne Barbeau was known for her sultry beauty and distinctive voice. With her voluminous dark hair, striking features, and curvaceous figure, she became a sex symbol of the era, often gracing magazine covers and attracting a significant fanbase. Today, Adrienne Barbeau has aged with grace, although time has inevitably left its mark. The youthful allure has given way to the dignified presence of an experienced actress. Despite these changes, Adrienne Barbeau's contributions to television, film, and theater are celebrated. She remains a beloved figure in pop culture, her legacy defined by her talent, beauty, and the memorable roles that continue to resonate with audiences.
Number 7. Sigourney Weaver, born Susan Alexandra Weaver on October 8, 1949, in New York City, is an iconic actress best known for her role as Ellen Ripley in the Alien franchise. Her performance in the series revolutionized the portrayal of women in action films and established her as a leading figure in Hollywood. Weaver's impressive career spans numerous genres, earning her acclaim in films like Ghostbusters, Gorillas in the Mist, and Avatar. In her youth, Sigourney Weaver was celebrated for her striking features, towering height, and commanding presence. Her distinctive look and undeniable talent made her a standout in the entertainment industry, and she became a role model for aspiring actresses. As time has passed, Sigourney Weaver's appearance has naturally changed with age. Her face now shows the lines of experience, and her once youthful visage has matured, reflecting a life of rich experiences and achievements. Despite these changes, her influence and contributions to film remain as powerful as ever. Weaver's pioneering roles and dedication to her craft have left an indelible mark on both cinema and popular culture, inspiring generations of performers. Number 6. Valerie Harper, born on August 22, 1939, in Suffern, New York, is best remembered for her iconic role as Rhoda Morgenstern on the TV series, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, and its spin-off, Rhoda. Her portrayal of Rhoda earned her four Primetime Emmy Awards and a place in television history. Harper's performance was lauded for its humor, warmth, and depth, making her a beloved figure in the 1970s, in her youth, Harper was admired for her vivacious personality and striking features. Her curly dark hair and expressive eyes were her trademarks, and she brought a lively, engaging presence to her roles. She embodied the spirited and relatable friend that audiences adored. In her later years, Harper faced numerous health challenges, including a battle with cancer. These struggles took a toll on her appearance, with age and illness marking her once youthful features. Despite this, her resilience and positivity continued to shine through. Valerie Harper's contributions to television and popular culture are enduring. Her portrayal of Rhoda remains a classic, and her legacy of laughter and strength continues to inspire fans around the world. Number 5. Jane Seymour, born Joyce Penelope Wilhelmina Frankenberg on February 15, 1951, in Hayes, Middlesex, England, is a celebrated actress known for her remarkable roles in television and film. She gained widespread fame for her portrayal of Dr. Michaela Quinn in the beloved series, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, and her role as Solitaire in the James Bond film, Live and Let Die. With her timeless beauty and undeniable talent, Seymour became a household name and an influential figure in the entertainment industry. During her youth, Jane Seymour was renowned for her striking beauty, with her long, flowing hair, captivating green eyes, and elegant presence that graced numerous red carpets and magazine covers. Her charm and elegance were unparalleled, making her one of the most admired actresses of her time. However, like everyone, Seymour has aged, and the signs of time are visible. Her once youthful face now bears the marks of age, with wrinkles and a more fragile frame. Despite the physical changes, Seymour's contributions to television and popular culture remain invaluable, and her legacy as an actress continues to inspire many. Number 4. Jeanette Theresa Dubois, known professionally as Jeanette Dubois, was born on August 5, 1932, in Brooklyn, New York. She gained fame in the 70s for her role as Willona Woods on the TV sitcom, Good Times. Her portrayal of the witty and stylish neighbor captured the hearts of many and left a lasting impact on television. In her prime, Jeanette Dubois was celebrated for her vivacious personality and striking beauty. 
With her expressive eyes, radiant smile, and impeccable sense of fashion, she became a beloved figure on screen. Her talent extended beyond acting as she co-wrote and performed the theme song for The Jeffersons, showcasing her musical abilities. Today, Jeanette Dubois' legacy lives on, though time has brought changes. The lively actress of the 70s now shows the signs of aging, with her once youthful face bearing the marks of experience. Despite these changes, Jeanette Dubois' contributions to television and popular culture remain invaluable. She is remembered not only for her iconic roles but also for her influence on future generations of performers, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Number 3, Lauren Shoes, born Cynthia Lauren Shoes on October 26, 1953, in Braddock, Pennsylvania, is best known for her role as cruise director Julie McCoy on the popular TV series, The Love Boat, which aired from 1977 to 1987. Her portrayal of the cheerful and efficient cruise director endeared her to audiences and made her a household name during the show's run. In her prime, Lauren Shoes was admired for her bright smile sparkling eyes, and girl-next-door charm. Her vibrant presence and endearing personality made her a standout on the show, and she quickly became a fan favorite. As the years have passed, Lauren Chu's appearance has naturally aged. The once youthful glow has given way to the lines and wrinkles that come with time. Despite these changes, her contributions to television and her memorable role on The Love Boat continue to be celebrated. Chu's work on the series left a lasting impression on pop culture and television history, making her an enduring figure in the entertainment industry. Number 2. Mary Tyler Moore born on December 29, 1936, in Brooklyn, New York, is best known for her groundbreaking roles in The Dick Van Dyke Show and The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Her portrayal of Laura Petrie and Mary Richards made her a television icon and earned her seven Primetime Emmy Awards. Moore's performances were celebrated for their wit, charm, and relatability, helping to redefine women's roles on television in the 1960s and 1970s. In her youth, Moore was admired for her beauty and elegance. Her expressive eyes, radiant smile, and chic style made her a beloved figure on screen. She embodied the modern, independent woman, breaking stereotypes and paving the way for future generations of actresses. As she aged, Moore faced significant health challenges, including diabetes, which impacted her appearance. Her once smooth skin showed signs of aging, and her frame became more fragile. Despite these changes, her spirit and determination remain strong. Mary Tyler Moore's contributions to television and popular culture are profound. Her roles continue to inspire, and her legacy of empowerment and resilience endures, making her an everlasting figure in entertainment history. Number 1. Jacqueline Bissett, born on September 13, 1944, in Weybridge, Surrey, England, is renowned for her roles in films such as Bullet, The Deep, and Day for Night. Bissett's performances in the 1970s and 1980s solidified her status as an international film star. Her elegance and acting prowess earned her a Golden Globe Award and numerous accolades throughout her career. In her youth, Bissett was celebrated for her striking beauty and sophisticated demeanor. Her captivating blue eyes, high cheekbones, and graceful presence made her a favorite among audiences and directors alike. She epitomized the glamorous yet approachable star, often gracing the covers of major magazines. Today, at 79, Bissett's appearance has naturally aged. Her once flawless skin now features wrinkles, and her dark hair has turned a dignified silver. Despite these changes, she maintains her elegance and charm, continuing to captivate audiences with her poise. 
Jacqueline Bissett's contributions to cinema and popular culture remain significant. Her roles continue to inspire, and her legacy of beauty and talent endures, making her an enduring figure in the film industry. Thank you for joining us on Hollywood Inside 1960s. If you enjoyed this look at the lives of these iconic actresses, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring you more fascinating stories from the golden age of television. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and let us know in the comments which actresses you want to see next. See you soon!